What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. And ladies and gentlemen, check out the team that we have in front of us today. Today we are rocking out with an off meta Shadow Rider Calyrex team that includes Gyarados and one of my favorite Pokemon to ever use in Pokemon Sword and Shield, Excadrill. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Seriously, the subscribe button is right below the video. All you gotta do is scroll down a little bit and click that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10k subscribers, so I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But like I said, we're rocking out today with a fun off meta team. We've been using a lot of meta teams recently, so I've been trying to like branch out a little bit, use some off meta teams because I know you guys really, really like them. And I also prefer using off meta teams. I think they're a lot of fun beating the top meta with some off meta Pokemon. So that is what we're going to be trying to do today. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Shadow Rider Calyrex, one of the best restricted mods in the series. It is just super, super strong and super versatile in a lot of different situations. We got the As One ability, so we get the Unnerve and Grim Nay. Then we got the Life Orb, so we can do even more damage than we already do. Protect, Astro Barrage, Psy Shock, and Grand Stop for his moveset. Right next to him is a very fun Pokemon. Absolutely love using this Pokemon on the ranked up ladder, and that is going to be Gyarados. Intimidate ability, Wakan Berry for his, for his item, so we can actually soak up an electric move. Then we got Waterfall for stab, Crunch for coverage, Icy Wind for speed control, and Taunt to taunt the opposing support Pokemon. Middle left over here, we got Gigalith. Gigalith is going to be great for weather control here. We got Sandstream, so we can actually make the Sandstream get rolling and take weather control away from other teams. And then we got the Weakness Policy at, uh, as his item as well. We got Protect, Rock Slide for Stab, Stopping Tantrum, and Body Press for his final two moves. Right next to him is one of my favorite Pokemon of all times and one of my favorite Pokemon to use on the ranked double ladder, and that is going to be Excadrill. I just think this Pokemon is amazing. His design is super, super cool, and he's super strong all around. Ground and Steel type, we got Sand Rush, so our speed will double in the Sand Stream. We got the Focus Sash as our item, then we got Protect, Iron Head, High Horsepower, both for our stab moves, and then our coverage move is going to be Shadow Claw. And Shadow Claw is going to be awesome, considering it is going to be able to do big damage up against Shadow Rider Calyrex, so it's going to be awesome all around and be good for that reason. Bottom left over here, we got Mandibuzz over here, and this Pokemon is going to play a huge role in this team, considering it is our Tailwind Pokemon, so speed is going to be huge. You guys already know it's huge in every single battle, so we got Tailwind on this guy. We got Overcoat, Leftovers as his item, and then we got Protect, Foul Play, Tailwind, and Roost for its moveset. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Ludicolo, and this Pokemon is only going to come in in certain situations. It has Swift Swim, it has the Citrus Berry as its item, and then the moveset is Grass Knot, Scald, Icy Wind, and Fake Out. And the reason I say it only comes in in certain situations is I feel like with this team right here, it's really only going to thrive if we're going up against a Kyogre team or a Rain team in general. But what Rain team is not rocking Kyogre right now? Like, it has to have Kyogre. So, any Kyogre team we're going up against, Ludicolo is going to be a beast because it's going to be able to outspeed it. And then we can hit him with a heavy grass knot and be able to do massive amount of damage on Kyogre. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that right double ladder and look to get some wins with this off meta Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Look what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is rocking out with a rain team for battle number one. So that means Ludicolo, it is your time to shine. We got Ludicolo over here with Swift Swim, so he's going to be able to come in here and do a decent amount of work. Um, should I lead him? I might lead him. He also has the, the Ice Rider Calyrex alongside with Incineroar, Rillaboom, like I said, the Politoed for the rain, and then he has the Kingdra for Swift Swim and Gothitelle for Fake Out. Gothitelle has Fake Out, so does Incineroar, so does Rillaboom, so he has a lot of different Fake Out options. Um, I feel like Intimidate can come in here pretty strong. Up against some physical attackers like the Rillaboom, the, uh, the Incineroar, and Calyrex is actually uh, physical attacking. So I should bring Gyarados in the back end here. I think I definitely need Weather Control. I might just take Weather Control from him. Lead Exigil and Gyarados. I feel like that can be pretty good here. Bring Gigalith. And maybe we might not even bring Ludicolo. I don't even think we need Ludicolo here. If I can take Weather Control, I feel like we should totally be fine with this one. So I'm just going to bring Gigalith in the back end. I'm going to bring Gigalith in the back end, try to take Weather Control, and say, hey, Ludicolo, maybe you'll get in, into the next main one. But I just feel like this one, he's just not as versatile as he would be if there was a Kyogre team. If there was a Kyogre team, he would pose a huge threat with the Grand Stop, considering that's a decently heavy Pokemon that should be able to do over half damage. Over half damage for sure on a Kyogre. But like, say he gets into Kingdra, Grass Knot's really not going to do much to him. But well, he's going to end up leading these two. This is huge for us. This is a great little Intimidate turn for us. Intimidate's gonna pop, Intimidate's gonna pop on us, but it's it's totally fine. It's totally fine. We're gonna see double Intimidate here. He is gonna get the Grass Terrain out and about. Uh, how do I rock out with this one? Intimidate's on both Pokemon, so... That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. He does have Fake Out later roll. So I'm thinking of swapping Gigalith for the Gyarados. 
I can definitely see like a double fake out popping in, right? I'm definitely going to protect my extra drill here. I could icy when I could taunt. Uh, and I think I'm just going to swap and get glyph here. Just to get my speed up here. And get the Sandstream rolling for extra drill. And then I might swap back into my Gyarados for another Intimidate. Let me play. Hopefully they're doubling down in my extra drill. That can be really, really cool. Maybe going for a fake out into him. And a Grass Glide at the same time. But I'm really hoping they're not going for a Grass Glide in my Gyarados. I really don't see that happening though. So let's just see how this one plays out. I could see a double fake out popping here. I think I was going to come out here. They're going to block that one. Should make Grass Glide sliding over that one. Double fake out. Okay, so it's a double fake out turn. That's totally fine. I'm totally cool with that one. The double fake out comes out here. The Buffets are rolling. The Buffets are rolling, baby. We are Intimidate dropped, which ah, I'm cool with. I can deal with it. I can get with it. Um, so in that case, I might just uh, hard swap back into yet another Intimidate. I think that's the play. I think that is 100% the play because I can go into a high horsepower here and do a decent amount of damage over on you. And then, like I said, just swap it to another Intimidate so they're not doing as much damage into me. We can put both these guys on minus two, which could be big, big. I mean, big, big for us. So he's going to withdraw the real boom. I really like that. Oh, and I forgot. High horsepower isn't doing a lot of damage here. It's not doing a lot of damage due to the grassy terrain. That's pretty nutty. That's pretty nutty. Unnerve's going to pop here. No berries for anybody. Kinglet's going to swap. And we're going to get an Intimidate on him. On the Calyrex, which is huge. I really do like that. I really do like that. I could see a parting shot coming out here as well. I totally forgot about the what's it called. The high horsepower damage is going to be nothing. It's not going to be as much. Yeah, that probably should have KO'd, but Grass Train and we're minus one. That just stinks. It's stupid how the Unnerve only works on us. So he's still able to eat his berry, which is a little rough. And Party Shot is going to come out here. The Party Shot is going to come out onto uh, him. And I might just swap into Shadow Rider here. Let's just see how this one plays out. I can see him definitely going back into Robum here. For a fake out opportunity. And let's see what he does from here. You go into Gothitelle. Okay, so Gothitelle's a pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? We do have minus one on the Calyx, which is really, really nice for us. Uh, I definitely want to swap extra and have him in here for later. It's a solid, just a solid first battle. This is a solid first battle so far. A lot of swaps, a lot of action. We did get off a decent shot onto the Incineroar, which is great, and force him to use his berry. Um, I could protect, or like I said, I could just hard swap into Calyrex. Hmm. I think we're here. I, th I think I think we're definitely going in with a swap right here. Why can't I swap out? What's going on here? Why why can't I swap out? Does Gothitel have something? I think Gothitel has something. I'm confused why I can't swap out, but I cannot swap out, which is a little whack. That's definitely a little whack. I think I might just uh, crunch into you. I'm confused why I can't swap out. It has to be something with the Goth Tell, right? Fake out's definitely gonna pop here. He's gonna protect, okay? So protect, and I think he fakes out. Let's see what he does. Iron Head's gonna pop, okay? So he doesn't fake out. And what is Goth Tell doing here? He's gonna take a mean crunch. A mean crunch from my Garrators. Yes, sir. We can now pass half. That's solid. We'd like to see that. And a Trick Room is popping. And a Trick Room is out and about. He is minus one, which I really, really dig. Which I really dig. There's that. There's the buffets coming out from that. And then the grass terrain is going to heal up everybody. Give everybody a little bit of health. Just a little bit of health. Bring him back up to full. And hmm, I think another crunch should be able to do enough damage. But I'm so confused why I can't swap. Is it got it's gotta be got to tell, right? It's gotta be got to tell, right? <laughs> let me see, let me see if I can actually like go into info and see this. Does it have no it doesn't even say it. It's gotta be her ability, right? I forget. I totally forget what her abilities are, but it's gotta be that, because his is unnerve and it's uh chilling nay. I mean they, they didn't use any move where I can't swap, you know? Let's just rock out here. I could go into a shadow call, but I think Iron Head is going to be our best bet. And then I think we just drop a nice another crunch. I think that's our play. I'll tell might protect if it is rocking with it. This is gonna go straight for a helping hand, and we're gonna see the ice move come out here. And it, again, it is minus one, so I think we should be able to soak up. I know my uh, extra will be able to. He is focus ash, but he's minus two. That's why I really want to try to swap him. He's gonna be able to do some damage, but we're able to eat up all day. Crunch is gonna be able to take out Gothel, which is gonna do great. Get it out of my face. See you later. 
So now I can swap, but I, it's there's no really anything to it. I like my swap does nothing. Big Iron Head coming out. That's a huge damage on the Iron. We get a crit. Oh, we love it. We love the crit. His weakness policy is popping though, and that's definitely scary because he does have Trick Room out and about. He does have Trick Room out and about. Uh, definitely gotta protect my. Uh, I think I have to protect my what's it called. My extra drill here. I think I just need to start wasting out turns here. Actually, actually, hold up. How many turns left in Trick Room? Because my Gigalith might be able to outspeed. Hopefully he brings out Incineroar here. I would really like if he brings out Incineroar over Rosen. Mm. That was my problem with the whole with the Gigalith situation. He brings out him, he can just grass got on me. But the terrain should end very, very soon. Let's see. Trick Room ends soon, or no, Trick Room doesn't end soon. We still have Sandstorm very, very soon, but Grass Terrain ends in one turn, so that, I'm, I'm with it. I am going to, do I protect Exca? We might as well, right? And I don't think it really matters, but, I mean, we could do that just to kind of pose something, but at the same time, it's kind of tough. And then we have to get after you. We have to get after this thing. This thing's just posing such a big threat. He is going to pick up a double kill here, which is definitely scary here. Or at least a single kill. We're gonna protect our extra drill. Glacial Lance is gonna come through here, and that is 100% going to KO onto my, uh, onto my what's it called? My Gyarados. Okay, so since Trick Room is still here, we have to bring out Gigalith. Gigalith is going to be great here. If I can get rid of this Pokemon, I feel like my, uh, my Shadow Rider can do a lot of work here. But yo, this is a great battle. This is a really good battle here. This thing's gonna do a turn, but we are going to block, so that's gonna be big. That's going to be big. The Sandstorm does subside. Same thing with the terrain. Same thing with the terrain. So we really, really like that. The terrain's going to be gone. And Trick Room is going to be out and about. Which means he might go into another U-turn. He doesn't have Fake Out or anything. He might protect the Calyrex. That might be his play. We're definitely going to go into here. Definitely pop the Sandstorm again. Uh, What do I do? Do I drop a Rock Slide here? I think Rock Slide might be our best bet here. Right? Just in case he does protect and can still get off some shots onto the Rillaboom. I think Rock Slide might be our best bet here. And then I think we just double down here. Right, Rock Slide should be able to take out that counter. It's no problem. Let's do it. Let's drop that. He might protect. That's my problem here. He might protect. And that can be definitely a, lot, a little scary here. Definitely could be scary. He doesn't protect. Rock Slide comes out here. We outspeed. That's huge. Again, he should go down there. Beautiful. He's down. And maybe, just maybe, we get off a flinch here. Just maybe we get off a flinch here, which could be really, really good for us. He does flinch. That's huge. That's huge. Iron Head's going to fly through here and get off a little bit of damage as well. Really, really do like that. I really, really like that. Um, I think play here could definitely be, uh, swap my extra drill. The so Sandstorm's going to be out for a little bit now. It's going to be out here for a little bit. And he cannot get grass terrain out here. Attack is dropping yet again. Um, he does have fake out ready to roll. I might swap my extra drill. If he's just going to be faking out here, I'm going to swap into my Calyrex. And I'm just going to protect here. I think that's an easy turn. Because I can definitely see a big grass move coming into my Giglith and a fake out going into that uh, extra drill slot. Or he just cancels out here. Yo, what a battle by us. Getting this video started off strong and grabbing ourselves a win. What a strong first battle from us. We were playing the Gyarados Intimidate game really, really well early on, and we outplayed his Trick Room with our Gigalith late in the game to get us that win. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a Lunala team alongside with Tapu Lele, Incineroar, and Rillaboom. Surprise, surprise there. And then he also has the Urshifu and the Staka Taka over there. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it a lot. Um, I'm trying to think who I should go into here. Intimidate, definitely going to work really, really well here. But I might end up leading the Gyarados. Ooh, that's the only thing that stinks is like, Intimidate works well on Incineroar, but Intimidate works well on the Gyarados. So if we go one for one there, it's a, it's really a problem for me. But um, I'm trying to think here. I might go same squad. I might need the Giga Drill and Extra Drill, or Giga Drill and Extra Drill, Giga Lith and Extra Drill. But again, Intimidate is just going to be super, super bad for us there. Super, super bad. I could go Mandibuzz. I think I'm going to lead Mandibuzz along the rest side with the sh uh, Shadow Rider. I feel like that can be really, really good. Then bring Intimidate in the back end, and then maybe just have an extra drill just kind of chill here. An extra drill solid with a focus sash, especially as a back end Pokemon. So I'm with that. We're going to bring extra drill without the Googleth. I'm cool with it. Let's try to get ourselves a win in battle number two. But guys, 
I did not even ask you guys a question of the day, but that is, what did you guys think of the new Nintendo Direct? By the time I'm recording this, right now the Nintendo Direct did not happen. It happens in a couple hours, so I'm going to be watching that and pretty excited for it. I'm pretty excited for it, but by the time this video is uploaded, the Nintendo Direct would be already happening, so you guys already know what happened in it. So definitely let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below on Nintendo Direct. I'm hoping to see some Splatoon 3 content, get that release date for us. Same thing with Legends Arceus, and uh, well, we already seen Diamond and Pearl uh, gameplay. I hope we see more Legends Arceus gameplay. I hope we get an Odyssey 2. I think that could be really cool. And it is the final Smash DLC, so hopefully we get Wild Luigi. Wild Luigi would be really, really cool. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. He ends up going with a Lele alongside with the uh, Loot Nala. So I think I'm just going to Tailwind early on here. And just protect. Just try to take speed. I mean, Astro Barrage is dirty here. But I can see what he's going to do. I can't get out speed, you know? There's no fake out here. Let's just go to an Astro Barrage. We should be able to outspeed and get off some big. Oh, you buttery biscuit. <laughs> you son of a biscuit. Wide card, oh my lord, yo, he just outplayed me, he just outplayed me hard, knew I should've protected. Knew I should've protected, man. The wide guard. And he still outspeed, sped me there. That's pretty nutty. He still gave me a nice little outspeed. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, I think we gotta bring out a boy here. I mean, I think we gotta bring out a boy. Do we bring out extra drill or Gary? Extra Drill or Gary? I think Extra Drill is going to be able to do a little bit more work here. They're both special attackers, so I'd rather save my characters for that back end. But that dude just outplayed me. Top of Lele's got to be Scarf, right? It's got to be Scarf for outspeeding my, my Shadow Rider. Like, Shadow Rider's got to be close to 200, right? For speed? 222. 222, and that thing's outspeeding. It's definitely Choice Scarf. Definitely Choice Scarf. Okay. With that said, I think a Foul Play definitely comes out here. You know, Foul Play is based on physical attack. I think we're still fine here. We can drop an iron head. We do have speed advantage here. We don't withdraw the Lele easily. And who's going to go into? Maybe a Intimidate Incineroar? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's happening. That is what is happening. Okay, I see you. I see you, dog. Iron head's going to pop. Imagine we went for a high horsepower. We're chipping away. That's not very effective, but that still did a good amount of damage because it was a crit. I was wondering why it did so much damage. Foul play's going to fly through here. Hit up on you. Still do a decent amount of damage. Because it was a crit. <laughs> Yo, dude, the crit's coming in hot. And this thing's dropping meteor beams. What you mean? So now I cannot swap my uh, extra joy. He's going to power her and take out mana buzz, no problem. Cannot swap my extra, dude. That's rough news. That's rough news. We know high horsepower should be able to take out instant or no problem. But, dude, that's tough. That's real tough. Meteor beam does not take out. I dig that a lot. I dig that a lot. Our leftovers is popping. Our leftovers is popping here. So, with all that going on here, oh, I could roost. I'm thinking of roosting. The, the fake out has to come into my extra drill, right? Fake out has to come into my extra drill. If not, your flare blitz into my extra drill, right? No withdrawal Lunala, so roost is really, really good here. He withdraws Lunala and goes into an extra drill. You know, protect coming out from XE. Hopefully, he's going for a fake out or a flare blitz in that slot. Just go into that slot, please. Roost is going to be able to fly here. And he's going for a Flare Blitz, because Fake Out would have came out there. So, Flare Blitz is definitely dropping into my uh, extra little slot, right? Yep, beautiful. So we get off a three lovely little roost. A nice, lovely roost. We get all this rolling here. I think Intimidate definitely has to come out here. I mean, dude, we do have speed as of right now. I might swap the Mandibuzz into the Gyarados here. And then just high horsepower into this thing. But I definitely need this Intimidate out and about. I just still have my Focus Ash here, and we still have Tailwind, so I'd rather keep my Extra Drill in here while we have speed right now. That's going to be really, really good for us. Attack is going to drop, and I could start sending Icy Winds. I could if I really want to. The attack's going to come out from him. Oh, it's huge. He's blocking over there. We don't have to worry about that slot. High Horsepower should be able to roll in here, even though we're minus one. Oh, and I thought it was going to pick up the KO. And I really did think it was going to pick up the KO. He's going to Flare Blitz here. Again, we are Focus Ash, so... I think we should be fine here. Oh, he's just got a parting shot. With the extra drill. Okay, that's cool. I'm cool with it. I thought he really was going to flare, but I might just hard swap here and then just start dropping uh, icy wins. Okay. I'm cool with that. 
I'm cool with that. I could get back out Mandibuzz. Uh, I still have the Shadow Rider in the back end. I still have the Shadow Rider in the back end. And, you know, this is a great battle. A great battle. This thing does have its, uh... It does have its, uh, Choice Scarf. So, that's a little tough for me. Icy Wind can, can come out here. I think I might just start taking Speed Control here. Stop an Icy Winds. And then, I think we have a hard swap next I mean, I could protect easy here. Which I am going to do. I am going to protect before we do swap. Just so I can get off an Icy Wind. And kind of block out some turns here. Let's see how this one comes out. We are going to send our protect. And I would love to get Mandibuzz back out here. And drop another Tailwind. That could just be huge. And Moonblast is going to fly over into Gyarados. And hopefully he doesn't double down here. Hopefully he doesn't double down and read the protect. He has special attack drop. Doesn't matter. And a close combat is going to fly through here. And he does double down. He does double down, he reads the protect, but yo, dude, I'm with that turn all day. I'm with that turn all day, considering his defense is going to drop. And he doesn't even do a lot of damage onto us. So Icy Wind's gonna pop here. Get a little bit of speed control. Get a little bit of speed control, and we swap into our uh Mandibuzz here. Right? Swap into Mandibuzz, take more speed control here. I could definitely see him swapping that uh that what's it called? That Urshifu. But I think we take, do we take another speed control there? Or do we just waterfall and kind of get after this guy? I think we start getting after the, the Lele here. And we just swap into the man. Oh, our Calyrex is dead. I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot our Calyrex got dumped on turn one. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. All right, Mandibuzz, you're back out here. Let's get it. Dude, I totally forgot about that. Moonblast's going to fly from the Lele. And he's just going to go after me. There it is. He's surviving, which is huge. Close combat is going to drop here. And Mana Buzz says, yo, that's Tasty Snacky out there. The super, super Tasty Snack here. Waterfall is still going to be able to come out here. And I wish we would have went after search food, because that would have been a guaranteed KO. It's like minus two on defense. But, oh my god, Garrett is chilling. Man. What's up with the crits, man? God dang crits. We're coming in hot with the crits. We're coming in hot with it. There was that. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we can go into here. I wish we could protect, but... Not. Well, Icy Wind's gonna be our play. I think we just Tailwind and try to get speed and roll for us. That's what we're gonna do. He has choice to a Moon Blast, so we know he's gonna go into a Moon Blast here. And he's gonna go after my Amanda Buzz. That's gonna. Ooh, that's a little rough there. That's a little rough. He gets a crit and it's super effective. That's a little tough there. And he's gonna go into close combat. That's gonna take me out. I don't like this, man. Because you know the rules on the channel. You know the rules on channel. We don't get swept, and we don't go 0-3. And, and we're in a position to get swept here. We are in a position to get swept here. I mean, Moonblast can't hit me. It cannot hit me. I mean, it can hit me. I'm just steel. It's not going to do a lot of damage. But let's get it, x -key. Let's get it, x -key. Good drop a high horsepower. Good drop a Shadow Claw. What do I want to go into? Hmm. I wish I did have Rock Slide at this point. I'm just going to take out you. I'm just going to take out this uh, Urshfu here. He might swap to Lele. Let's see what he does here. He's probably going to swap to Lele into the Incineroar, right? Yeah. A lot of common. A lot of common all day. Incineroar's back out here. He's going to fake me out next turn, so I'm just going to protect. We are going to take out Urshfu here, unless he protects him. High horsepower comes in here. Yo, Urshfu, get out of this. We don't get swept. We don't get swept. That's not happening. Our extra is making a comeback here. We are making a comeback. Let's get it. Yo, why didn't... Did his Intimidate come out? How come I didn't see his Intimidate come out? Dude, this is why... Dude, if I had Rock Slide here, I could pick up a double kill. Because I know I, we outspeed that Incineroar. We just don't outspeed that Lele. Not one bit. Not one bit. Let me see, let me see the info. So, Intimidate did come out here. I'm a little confused by it. Actually, Big Out cannot rock. Big Out cannot come out here. I'm going to take out Incineroar here. Fake out cannot happen. The Psychic Terrain is out and about. And Shadow Ball is going to fly. So he's choosing into a different move here. And we're able to eat. We're able to eat. High horsepower can come through here. We're going to say, hey, get out of my face. Dude, if we had Rock Slide. If we had Rock Slide, this turns into a 1v1 situation. This is why I absolutely love Rock and Rock Slide on this guy. Instead of Shadow Ball. Oh my god, Rock Slide would have been so clutch. That would have been easy double kill. And it would have been me versus Lunala. Would have been super, super close. Would have been super close. I mean, I have Shadow Call, and it really depends on if we were outspeeding it or not. I mean, I say we take out the Lele here. 
We know if Lele gets off two Shadow Balls, we're dead. And we need this thing to miss, and we have to be able to outspeed this. Because we're able to eat that up. And Shadow Call is coming out here. So, dude, if this thing misses, yo, we got a dub. We got a dub with an exit drill. Dude, look at this thing tearing it up. Yo, this thing better miss. What's he going to do? He's going to go into a Moon Guy Speed. I think that's going to KO. That's definitely going to KO here. Dude, are you kidding me? X control? Dude, if we had Rock Slide, that would have been one of the greatest comebacks ever. Would have been one of the greatest comebacks ever. But, yo, GG to that guy. X control this close to coming up with that clutch battle. But we're sitting one-on-one. -on -one. We can hop into our third now. Let's get this winning record, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping into our third battle here. Going up against the Kyogre team alongside with the strongest Pokemon in this game. And that is Togedomaru. One of my absolute favorite Pokemon. Just love him in uh, VGC doubles. Just super, super strong. And super, super good at controlling the battle with paralyzes and fake outs all around. But uh, this guy also has Rillaboom, the landers for the Intimidate, Xerxes Tree as his Ultra Beast, and Grimstar, potentially for screens. Potentially for screens here. But dude, if we would have clutched that battle last one, that would have been hands down one of the greatest clutches ever. It would have been a 1v4 clutch. But again, if we had Rock Slide, we would have won. We had Rock Slide. We would have won. I'm so upset with that one, but it's totally good. I'm loving this team so far. Loving the uh, the off meta versatile here. We just have a lot to work with, and I'm having a lot of fun with this team. But uh, who should I go into? We do Ludicolo as a lead. Ludicolo isn't bad. He does have a lot of electric, but we do have x -Key. I mean, I don't even think we bring in Ludicolo. I think we maybe go Mana Buzz alongside with x -Kidrol. Actually, not even. I mean, I do like to have the fake out. I said we go extra drill alongside with Gyarados. And then we bring Gigalith for weather control alongside with Calyrex. I just think this is one of the best teams for these guys. Especially for weather control. I mean, he doesn't have a Tailwind, so we really do not have to go in the Tailwind. We just have to worry about controlling the weather. I really would want that Ludicolo in here, but at the same time, it's just like... It's just a Kyra, you know? So if we can control that weather, I think we should be able to eat up this battle and grab ourselves a win here. So hopefully we can get it, but dude, I'm so hyped for that Nintendo Direct comic. Nintendo Directs always get me hyped. I love just sitting down there, wrapping myself in a taco blanket, and just sitting there and watching Nintendo Direct. Always been one of my favorite things ever since I was a kid, man. I was always, like, ecstatic about when uh, Nintendo Direct was coming. I just always, always loved it. But, um, I might just swap the Gary this year. I might just swap the Gary. And protect the Exegel. They could fake. He has two fake outs. I'm just going to protect extra and I am just going to swap the Gary into Gigalith here. Because the Sandstorm will actually take off the, uh, will actually take off the Sash as well if it took it tomorrow. But again, I got to get Gigalith back into my party just in case he has Kyra. Because chances are he has Kyra, so I'm definitely going to need a Sandstorm a lot later. The Buffets will come out this turn. I'm going to swap Gigalith instantly after this turn, and I'm just going to high horsepower into Togo tomorrow. The fake out's gonna pop here, and we're blocking. We block here. And Nuzzle was coming out on the slot. Nuzzle buzzle. Nuzzle's too good. Nuzzle is just too good. Oh, he's steel type. But this won't affect him. That really stinks. That does really stink. Uh, what do I go into? Iron Head? We're high horsepower. I can Iron Head into Grimstar slot. I could see him swapping the Toga tomorrow. I'm just gonna drop a high horsepower here. And I'm just going to swap back into Gyarados here. That's my exact turn. That is my exact turn. I can definitely see him swapping Togemaru into the Kyogre. So if I can swap this out right now and make a read here. We can be rolling out strong here. I'm thinking I should have Iron Head because he could have protected. He could have protected this turn. We're dropping our Gigalith here. Let's get back out our Gary Gyarados. And see what this uh, Grimstar is about. Is he attacking or is he, uh, or is he screens? He's going to set up some screens here. We can definitely see some screens set back up here. Can we make a nice read? Spiky Shield is coming out here. Smart play by him. This is why I should have Iron Head. This little Spiky Shield is popping. And he is going to trick on me. Buttery Biscuit. What, you taking my Focus Sash? You taking my Sash? You son of a biscuit. So now this thing's sitting up there with a the Focus Sash. Both these Pokemon might, might have Sashes. We do have the Lagging Tail. We are double speed. Spiky Shield is going to, uh, chip up on us and uh i still think we outspeed i still think we uh do another high horsepower into this thing and we just drop a waterfall right i'm with it i'm with this turn all day so he tricks us we do not have our what's called anymore 
do not have our or what's called anymore our focus ash the second punch is going to fly through here i'm cool with that nuzzle is going to pop and our wakan berry is going to help us out just a little bit but it's mainly here for the paralyze dude like look how strong this toga tomorrow is toga tomorrow is an absolute beast dude i love this pokemon so much again i think he's sashed i really do i don't think we're going to do to do like, any damage off this thing i mean we are going to do damage he's going to bring him down the lane Wait, right, he's sashed. Yeah. 100% sashed. 100% sashed. And now both these guys are sashed. I don't like one bit. I don't like one bit. Paralyzes are popping. I wonder what other moves he's got. We're definitely going to drop an Iron Head here. And... I guess we'll Icy Wind. Hmm. I mean, if we survive, Icy Wind's probably to play. Yeah, we're going to Icy Wind. Icy Wind. La 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 la. Spike Shield's going to pop. I'm cool with that. Icy Wind is uh, special attacking, so that works. Fake Tears is going to drop on who? On my X key? Okay, on my Garrus. I'm cool with that. Special Fence is dropping. I'm gonna paralyze. What you mean? I'm cool with that turn, though, because Iron Head should be able to take this thing out pretty easy. We get the thing out of here. He dropped my special defense. He knew he was going down here. Um, is he going to bring out Kyogre? Like I said, if he brings out Kyogre, I have to bring out my lovely Giga Drill. Or Giga Drill. Why do I keep calling it Giga Drill? Giga Drill. Gotta bring out my Giga Drill. There's Kyogre, Gigalith, you're coming in here. And this is actually a perfect opportunity for us to swap out onto the, uh, the what's it called? For us to swap the, uh, the Gyarados. Because he does have stat changes a lot here. I'm going to go into here, and I'm just going to take that weather. I'm going to say, hey, give me that weather back. Even though two of us are paralyzed, you have Togan tomorrow is such a pain, man. It's such a pain. You're gonna end up withdrawing the token tomorrow, which I'm totally cool with. Maybe he protects the Kyogre. Let's see what happens here. Zerxia Tree is going to pop out here. Leave my poor old Zerxia Tree, or my poor Gyarados alone. He's coming in here with that giant electric wire Pokemon. Like, look at that thing. It looks like he just went to your wall and just ripped the wires off the wall. And just like, here you go, here's Pokemon. <laughs> it's legit wires from a wall. Water Spout is gonna come out here. He's still outspeeding us, which is nuts. And that takes out my X drill. Bro, what you mean, dude? What you mean, dude? Toga tomorrow, man. Toga tomorrow doing us dirty. Doing us super dirty here. We even took out the weather. We even took out the weather. The paralyze from Toga tomorrow is making us slower. And that lagging tail from the, uh, from the what's called also making us slower here. From the Grim Star. But battle still ain't over yet. I definitely see us still potentially winning this battle. Whatever Calyrex out about, he is choice. But dude, that's a big old damage coming out from the kid. Big old damage coming out from Kyogre. It's such a good Pokemon. And we took the weather. And we took the weather. It's great. It's great for us. It's that lagging tail. Did us dirty. Slowed us down. We should have been able to outspeed. We have been able to do a decent amount of damage onto him. I think I just had to Astral Barrage though. I think we went to Astral Barrage and I might... Ooh, what do I do here? Icy Wind? Icy Wind might be our player. Because if I get off an Icy Wind, that will slow down everybody. And have... We can just uh, send more Astral Barrage out. out. Well, let's see how much damage we can potentially do off of both these guys. And we take out Zerxia Tree. That's huge. So if this guy going for another Water Spout, it'd be really big because the damage is going to be less in here. Grim Nate is popping, dude. Will Shadow Rider Calyx clutch it up for us? Give me a Water Spout. Give me a Water Spout. Origin Pulse coming out here. Gyarados avoids it. Mm. Calyx, eat this up. I need you to soak this up. Good work, yo. That's huge. That's huge for us. Icy Wind's gonna be able to slow that thing down. He's gonna be able to slow that thing down. And who is his, uh... He's gonna bring back out Togan tomorrow. And the thing is, Togan tomorrow cannot fake out my, uh... Calyrex. So is that GG's? Is that GG's? Because Calyrex outspeeds all day. Calyrex outspeeds all day. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. I mean, unless... Togan tomorrow outspeeds. I mean, it is a fast little Pokemon, and he nuzzles on me. That would be my only problem. I'm just gonna drop the Astral Barrage. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves this win here, and probably Crunch. I don't know. I don't know. We just need, we need Calyrex to hit here. We see Calyrex outspeed. He cancels the battle. Let's get it. Calyrex clutching up there and grabbing ourselves that winning record for this battle.
This team right here was so much fun to use on the rank glider. I absolutely loved Extral and I missed using this Pokemon considering in the earlier seasons, this Pokemon was used so much and he was one of my favorite shoes. I had a T-Tar and Extral Sand Rush team and it was super, super strong back in the day. So I was very glad to actually use this team, use some off meta Pokemon and use one of my favorite Pokemon once again, which was Extral. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.